All right, everyone, I want to go over something that's been happening to a lot of people. Just a little PSA uh, to those players now being online. I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, have gotten scammed in the past in other MMORPGs. I don't know if it was, you know, RuneScape or, you know, it was World of Warcraft or, you know, whatever it was, you've been scammed before, possibly, if you were a young kid playing. So this is kind of for all you young kids or new to MMORPGs. You can get scammed in these games. So we're going to go over one of the biggest scams uh, currently in Albion Online, it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's a huge ordeal, um, because it's very easily, uh, dodgeable, or you can get away with, uh, you know, you can, you can get around it, it's not, it's not a problem, um, you just gotta be careful a little bit when you're in the auction house, so this is gonna be the auction house scam, and we're gonna kind of go over it, and also show you how to use the auction house scam is, you know, it's really not that bad of an idea to have this kind of thing in game to make sure people are always paying attention and being a little bit more aware. So if you guys want to try this game, go ahead and try it. Uh, it might screw some poor guy over, but um, you know what? It's going to teach him a lesson. He won't do it in, in his next game. He'll be a little bit more cautious. So it really can't hurt. Um, but what we'll do is a lot of people like to do this with poisons and mounts. Um, stuff that isn't weapons they like to do this with so I guess let's go to um, Let's see here. Maybe we should use a weapon as a kind of a guide here Let's just go to the war bow and let's go to tier six is tier six war bows uh, The one that has the ray of light which is probably the most used war bow for sure um, Is tier six because of the ray of light being added on with this, you know tier six so Let's say I buy all of these tier sixes. Um, obviously, this is going to be a lot easier and simpler at a, um, what do you call it? This is going to be a lot easier and simpler at a place that doesn't have so many warbows. So I'm actually not going to do it here um, as this would not be the place to do it um, because you have so many that you have to buy. You'd have to spend, you know, probably 10 mil just on warbows. You'd want to do it at, at maybe a smaller place or a smaller town uh, because I'm not going to be able to buy all these warbows. I mean, I might be able to, but it's not going to be worth the cost um, to do it. So let's maybe check out the poisons and just see if anyone's actually currently attempting it. Um, it doesn't look like it. It's The problem with poisons is in a place like this, uh, you can see that there's way too many poisons for just one guy to buy out. Uh, what you will see, though, is if you go to 8.1 poisons, you'll occasionally see it there because there's less 8.1s and 8.2s. Um, not 8.2s, but 8.1s basically. There's a little bit less of those, so you'll see that occasionally. Um, but let's see here if there's an omelet. So it's at 19k right now. And yeah, there's too many of those to do it there. But I would like to maybe hmm, let's see if there's let's see if there's something that there's a little bit less of. I didn't really look at this beforehand. I just wanted to guys kind of give you an understanding of what happens um, and you know what to be aware of. So Let's check the, you know, there might not be too many harvesting, uh, harvesting gear. Let's see. And you know what? There's a lot of harvesting gear. Take it back. Ah, not crazy amount. So this would end up costing me a decent chunk um, to try this here. This would probably cost me about four or five, probably five mil. And, you know, we're probably going to go for it, to be honest. And this is going to be a test run for all you guys. So uh, make sure you don't, you know, <laughs> make sure you don't buy this. If you're watching the video, this is a little PSA not to buy a Harvester T8 garb um, at the moment because I have them all going to be a little bit overpriced for sure. So what I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea for what they do um, and what you guys need to be aware of. As I go down this list, I didn't even check for stackable. So hopefully there's no like, so there's four there. <laughs> there's 13 there. So I'm going to get screwed over quite a bit here. Um, I didn't check to see how many are in the stacks. And let's see if there's a lot more. Yeah, there's eight there. It's definitely going to cost me a pretty penny at the very least. Um, but we're going all out at this point. There's no turning back. getting all of these all of them and you, you the biggest thing is it's a big risk if you don't have a ton of money uh, but if you actually make it out by doing this you will actually earn you know your money back plus more uh, with one big purchase so 
what I just did realize is I'm not going to have near enough, so I just got to scam myself. But the biggest uh, part about this is I'll be actually just fine. I won't be doing the scam how I, how I liked to do it or how I wanted to show you guys. But it'll be actually just fine because I'll just uh, kind of cut underneath this. So now I'll put them at like 175k, and over time they'll be purchased, and you know it won't be a problem. So the top one is at 180k right now, um, and I I was pretty close to clearing it all out. I did not clear it all out though. I didn't have the gold for or the silver for it right at the moment. I would have to sell some things for that, but. Basically, what we're going to end up doing is if you buy all of this uh, Tier 8 Harvester Garbs, I chose an item that was too expensive probably um, was the problem. Usually, you want to do it with something that's about 20 k so that's why people use poisons. Um, but the Harvester Garb, I'm going to be able to, let's say, take all these. I'm going to be way over encumbered for a little bit, but I'll sell it all and we'll be all right. Um, yeah, so now I go back into here, and you see I have 48, 18, and 3. I can actually sell these for such a higher price um, than previously done. So I can go to the buy, and I can see that 180,000 is the current highest. Uh, I'm obviously going to be able to just plop these on for 179,000. And this is just kind of a big money making strategy that you know works, and it's also a, you know a scam that you don't want to get caught up in uh, being on the other side. If I put this for 20 million a piece and it was, nor well, so for this case, it's usually 119 mil, right? So if I just bumped it up one zero, um, I could really, really screw people over. It's usually 119,000, my bad, not 119 mil, but I could easily bump it one over and it would be 1.19 mil. And that could really screw people over because each buy would be a one mil profit for me. So. We right now are going to just plop them at 179,000 a piece, which will end up making me profit by the time these sell. And I'm not low on money or anything. I mean, currently, currently it may look like I'm low on money, but I'm actually, you know, I'll be fine. So uh, I will show that this is the way. I don't have. Oh, I'm trying to. Am I trying to buy them? What did I just do? Oh, the taxes. I don't have enough in taxes, so I will actually have to go around and sell some things real quick to get the taxes uh, or I could just go sell gold Ooh, the gold prices have been going they're gonna start dropping and this is a whole nother topic so I'm not even gonna go into the topic um, but I'm gonna sell my gold real quick I'll, I'll go into the whole gold discussion another day uh, as that's a whole nother video um, there's a lot to be said about the gold prices right now so uh, but this is you know one of the best money-making profits uh, you can make just by kind of taking advantage of players that are just so quick to um, so quick to buying things and just not like paying attention to the you know to the what do you want to call it to the prices um, what I'm actually gonna do is actually buy this one out to the 180k that'll put these a little bit farther away um, very unfortunate I couldn't buy them all out uh, I did get somewhat close to the all the 8.0s I could have put them you know put them up there but that's all right. We'll take this one now and we'll sell this one now for sure. So we do have all those on sale and, you know, they'll sell pretty quickly. Uh, harvester garbs are something that are used pretty often and, you know, they get PK'd a lot. So they're probably going to trash and what's going to end up happening is they're going to need a new one. They're going to come back, buy, and I'm going to get my, you know, 20K profit per or whatever it was. So this is just a little PSA for you guys. I saw this, you know, on Reddit the other day. I saw some people struggling with it and, you know, they lost a lot of money. So I didn't want you guys to lose a lot of money. But I also wanted to give you guys the chance to gain a lot of money. So if you're a viewer, you know, you here you go. Here's your chance to take advantage of it. If you got a lot of silver, go out and try it. Um, but that'll be all for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.